Charity begins at home. Justice begins next door. Charity has left the home. She left the home when she decided that the critical task of raising your child to be a decent human is someone else's responsibility. Charity has left the home because we are now raising children without discipline, without instruction, without direction, without boundaries, and ultimately without a conscience. Charity left, Charity left the home the day you chose that meeting, that appointment, that event, that friend, that seemingly urgent deadline over your child. And on that day, you excused bad behavior for, oh, he's just a child. Oh, yes, he is a child. And yes, badly behaved children become badly behaved adults. Badly behaved parents, listen, badly behaved children, more often than not, are the ones who become criminals, drug addicts, rapists, and murderers. So think about it next time you make an excuse for that child and say, oh, he's just a child. Child on child crime and abuse has scattered over the past 20 years to as much as half the percentage of adult crime. Let me put that in context for you. For every two adults and there's a criminal, there is one juvenile child. I shudder at where that statistic will be in another 20 years if we do not take drastic actions starting today. I can see here my parents' words as early as I remember saying, remember the son of whom you are. That phrase, as simple as it was, carried weight carried weight because they were not just referring to themselves as parents. By saying those words, they were opening a whole visa of instruction, discipline, direction, and yes, home training. I mean, it's called home training for a reason. Many parents today look at their children in the eye. Many, sorry, let me say that again. Many parents today cannot look at their children in the eye and say, remember the child of who you are, because there is nothing to remember. They haven't done the hard work. Many children today are bad boys and bad girls and are celebrated for it. We must start to reprogram our kids to respect plain old decency in a world where good, bad, moral, and immoral have been heavily subjectivized. Without taking a responsibility away from schools, the task of raising a decent human is the primary responsibility of the parents. I repeat, the critical task of raising a decent and responsible human is the primary responsibility of the parent because if you don't raise your children right, Somebody else will. In some cases, that's a word in a prison facility or other inmates. Social security is what I advocate for. Criminal negligence must be truly criminalized. Parents must be held fully responsible for neglecting their roles. And let's bring charity back home. At that point, just drop the mic and walk. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I, I don't know. I really, I really think that what you have said is so true. You've hit the nail on the head. And the question that comes to mind immediately is that where did we get it, did wrong? Get it wrong? What is like happening where, in the home? Where, where did it all go, go wrong? Awry? At what and point? I yes, yeah. and I really think that maybe when we look at it, when you see the situation, is when the crush, you know, the desire for the finer things of life mm -hmm. and how I don't want my children to suffer the way I suffered yeah. and how I want to give them a good life, yeah. all that started becoming the norm. But because when you talk to some parents and you're trying to tell them that, oh, this doesn't make sense or this shouldn't be done, I look at you like, what are you talking about? I remember, you know, I mean, there was a time when I was in love of etiquette classes and at some point, when every time we say, we always get that sense of, Oh, really? Hey, do they really need it? Okay, maybe they need to learn how to use their fork and knife. And I'm thinking, do you think that etiquette about fork and knife alone really was talking about behavior, social yeah. skills? And so, do we, the parents even think it's that important? Yeah. So, let me, so, let me let me tell you something. So, I left Nigeria at six years old. I went to boarding school at the age of six to the age of 18. Um, my parents never relocated. They were here. I can tell you every day of boarding school, my father was in my head. Hmm. He had done that walk mm. that's, that's, that's at amazing. six years at old. At six years old. That's it. To this day, the man is still inside my mm. head. <laughs> so it's really important in those initial, we call it the early intervention years in the yeah. special needs community, those first six years, especially those first two to three, that you really impress the values on children because that's is the time the brain is the most spongiest to understand, to absorb, and to be able to become part of their DNA. So it's really, really important that parents clue into this. You yeah. cannot leave your child for the nanny. Yes, absolutely. You know? what, what I'm going to say is I was just thinking about something. You call it Rema. It came to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> there are two things here. 
parents should think about the future of their children what kind of child do you want your, your what kind of adult do you want your child, child. to grow into mm -hmm. if you go to the if you go to america george bush george hw bush better george w bush do you know the amount of work he impacted in the life of his children that he had one of his son a governor and a president another one a governor right yeah senator yeah. do you think it was just because he was a president that's why they became yeah, president random. no that was intentional parenting mm -hmm. and then the other aspect from of uh, uh away from parents in the school those mm -hmm. that go into education i want to be a teacher many a time they don't go for the glory of teaching and impacting life mm -hmm. they go because of oh that's the work available i just want to do it i don't care my own is just to collect my money and leave Please. anything they ask me to do, I don't do. we need helen to talk you hit uh, yes. you hit an issue and i know yeah. helen will be <laughs> sitting there wanting to say something particular on this point helen, yes in fact i think i love all of you that's what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> we love you too you're all <laughs> speaking my language you know i think it, it's really 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 um I'm always one for charity begins at home. And I and I concur with Tonya because I also went to school in the UK. And every time I wanted to make a wrong move, I would just remember my father. My father would tell me that he would kill me first before I, I would disgrace his family. That was his words. Do you understand? So I sit down in my quiet moment and I'm thinking, the parents of these young boys who have now been identified as the suspects of killing this young man, what would those parents be going through? You see, it's a tragedy all round. Yeah. It's a tragedy all round. Absolutely. And I'm very, very sure that if you look at it holistically, we have to mourn for both parties. Yeah. Sylvester's parents have lost a child, and five to six other parents are more or less going to lose their children as well. But it's Tolu, a very bad time. Yeah. Helen, to, Tolu hit on something towards the end of his intro, which kind of hinted at, do you prosecute the parents? Like, I kind of got that yes. thing in terms of this, the, the ramifications yes. for the I mean, parents. Like social security abroad. You know? I mean, if you're a badly behaved parent, they take your children from you. Well, in Nigeria, that might, be, that, might, that might be in Nigeria. That might be a bit of a relief for them. Like, you know, just take them. You know what I mean? Well, I don't but seriously, so. I don't but think seriously, so. we should probably have those kind of things in place. So, um, I think this is a good time to have a moment of silence mm -hmm. for, you know, the daily pass departed children over, you know, the last couple of years or whenever that's, you know, um, having victims of, you know, bullying or physical abuse. May their souls rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. Well, time is never our friend on this program. However, the advocacy, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG, and on Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com slash the Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Like Catherine Jenkins said, children should be able to live a life free from bullying and harassment. And it's time that we all took a stand against this. Till next week, same time, on this same station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Yes, Bye. indeed.